Hello YouTube. In this video, I am going to compare the Logitech K400R versus K400 Plus. So if you are someone like me who likes to use their computer from sitting on a couch or bed, so this particular keyboard plus trackpad setup would be pretty much useful. So as you can see, you can use both the mouse or the trackpad gestures right from your couch and also use the keyboard. So it's an all-in-one solution and as you can see it works perfectly with Mac OS and also the Windows operating system as you always know. So right now like let me navigate to some of the website and as you can see like I'm able to navigate properly and also I'm able to use the gestures the two finger scroll up and down and left and right so everything works perfectly fine so there is no issues with that. Now let's compare the K400R that we have over here and the K400 Plus, the, this one. So the, there is also another version, just K400, which doesn't have the media controls that we have on the K400R. So that's the only difference. So apart from that, both of them use a AA size battery. So I'm using a rechargeable battery and also you have the dongle inside. And here again, it, it also uses a AA battery. Coming to the differences, the K400, it has the media controls on the left top side and the trackpad, so it's slightly recessed inside and the left click button is slightly larger. And when compared to the K400 Plus, the trackpad is uh, on the same surface and the media controls are on the right side. So, but there is one big thing. So the shift button on the newer K400 Plus is of a normal size when compared to the K400 R and also the previous K400 you have a similar like a alphabet key sized shift keyboard so which is a deal breaker for most of the people so that's one thing that's been changed but the arrow keys uh, with the K400 and K400 are so they are of a regular size so if you're into gaming you can prefer that or if you're into typing you can prefer the K400 plus so that's one of the major difference with uh, both the variants and apart from that the tactile feedback the keyboard noise everything almost it's the same so there is no difference between them so it's uh, both uh, perfect to type and also like uh, there is no issues with any keys or something like that so it, it's uh, it's perfectly balanced both of them does the job really well now if you're gonna use it with the new york macbook so you need a usb type c to type a dongle so once you have that you can plug it into your macbook or even it works with mac mini or imac or any uh, computer so right now i plugged in with the dongle and let me get the keyboard here so first let's test out the k400 plus so you also get a unifying software so this is from logitech so you can connect multiple devices for a saying dongle so that's with the unifying software you can do that that's available for both mac os and windows so there is no issues over there and right now let's try to open up some apps and as you can notice the scrolling it's not like completely smooth like the glass trackpad that we have on the macbook but it's fine it does the job well being a, a wireless keyboard and uh, not from apple so it really does the job pretty well and let me do some typing over here so let me enter the website address and boom you are into the website and as you can notice the two finger scroll that works perfectly fine no, no issues with that and the volume buttons the media controls so they also work pretty much well so there is no need to install any other software so everything works perfectly well and right now let's try to open some other application so let me move to iMovie and yeah like as you can notice it's pretty smooth so there is no lag or something but one thing you cannot do the multi finger gestures like zoom uh, pinch to zoom they doesn't work so let's try it with the K400R and let me try the pinch to zoom with this and it doesn't work so the pinch to zoom gesture is the only thing that doesn't work and also maybe the three finger and all those other swipes they doesn't work but the basic needs are covered so you can scroll the page vertically and, and uh, horizontally so that is covered and also like you can do all your navigations and typing with the mac os so there is absolutely uh, no no blocker over there 
and let me navigate to Twitter so that we can see the scrolling speed and as you can notice the scrolling again it's not pretty much smooth so with the MacBook trackpad so you can precisely scroll but with this it, it's a uh, it little bit uh, I mean like it jumps a uh, little bit faster but it's fine so it uh, I mean like if you are leisurely browsing something it works pretty much well no issues with that and one more thing about this wireless or the radio frequency RF keyboard is that so there is no much latency when compared to the Bluetooth keyboards or the trackpad so this is one convenient thing with the RF range so it doesn't have to deal with the Bluetooth uh, limitations but there is some limitation we'll talk about that later on so it also works with windows completely fine so there are plenty of videos where uh, this particular keyboard has been used with windows so you can refer that and it works perfectly fine with windows os and also linux so let me try it with my imac so this is a pretty old imac and right now like uh, let me try to launch something so the scroll or everything it's perfectly fine and works well with both Intel and M1 iMacs. So now this is the K480 keyboard. So this is a Bluetooth multi-device keyboard. So it connects to three computers with Bluetooth. So right now it also works with the iPad. So if you want something which can connect with your iPad without using any dongle or if you want to connect it to any other uh, devices uh, like if you have multiple devices that you want to work with at once and you want to connect it to them so the k480 keyboard is a real good thing so you can also keep your ipad or your iphone on the dock that is provided there so that is one advantage and also like you can connect to three devices at once so that is another advantage and it uses bluetooth so there is no need of any dongle that needs to be attached to the computer so that is again another added advantage of this particular keyboard so there is also another version called K380 so that doesn't come with the dock that we have in the front for the iPad but if you want something with a trackpad the K400 plus is one of the better option so you can control complete the keyboard and mouse experience from your couch so that you are getting it only with the K400 plus so that's all I had in this video thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this and as always, stay safe and peace.